One of the hadiths from Imam Sadiq salam, Malik al-Juhni, who was a companion of Imam Sadiq, asked Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, concerning the the description of the, the rightful owner, Sahib al-Amr, the rightful owner. Malik al-Juhni said to Imam Sadiq salam, that we uh, we have seen that the rightful owner has been described in such a way that it, it cannot be attributed to anybody. Like this description uh, it is not with anyone. Imam Sada, peace be upon him, responded, No, by Allah, it shall not be that at all until he himself argues with it meaning argues with that description and calls you to himself so the uh, the description of the rightful owner is not with anyone and no one knows the the real meaning of it only when the qa'im or the rightful owner arrives when it comes to his time he himself will call you to, to, to his matter and tell you what it actually means. Because he knows what that description means. Now one would think, what kind of description that is, you can say, shrouded with secrecy? What, what is that description? When we go to the 13th disciple, what Imam Ahmad al-Hassan salam said concerning the hadith, that uh, Imam Sadiq says uh, says that the the Qa'im peace be upon him he rises after when he dies that the Qa'im peace be upon him meaning the rightful owner he rises after he dies now this description is not with anyone during the time of Malik al-Jihni's a period during the period of time in which Malik al Jihni was living in, in and Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, was living in, the description of rising after death or emerging after death, this has never occurred with any person or with not even an, uh, none of the Imams had this description because none of the Imams have died and then they rose after that or emerged after that they were born and then they uh, they tried to guide people for a certain time and then they got martyred but for the description of the rightful owner he died but then he was born or brought brought back to life to this world as the Qa'am peace be upon him so this description, Imam Ahmad al-Hassan, peace be upon him, said that it, that it applies only to the Jesus look-like, Shabih Isa alayhi salam, that was crucified on the cross. After when he was crucified on the cross, he was raised, and then he was brought back to life as the Qa'im, peace be upon him. He was born again as the Qa'im, peace be upon him. So the description only applies to the Jesus lookalike, to the Qa'im Ahmad, Ahmad al-Hassan alayhi salam. The one who is mentioned in the will of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the night of his death. The son of Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, the successor of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam, the messenger of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Ahmad al-Hassan, the first believer and the first of the close ones, peace be upon him.